Hey everybody, I wanted to talk about a young person's heel pain. So this is James, we're going to keep him anonymous, so I'm not show his face. But, uh, James, why don't you say what happened to you, what you've been suffering from. You said so about. when I'm running around, my heel starts hurting right here. So, and uh, how long have you had the pain? Like Since a couple months. A couple months. And is it only, is it still the same as a couple months ago as far as just hurts after your exercise or is it getting more frequent? It hurts during it also. During. So now we have a couple months of pain. Was there an injury that occurred uh, a couple months ago? No. Let's be more exact. So it is now uh, November, so... Around like August. August. Mm. What happened in August? There's something that it usually happens about August. School. Yeah. So, did you do anything different with your gym class in school? Or is there anything else that's more intense? No. So, a couple of things we should always know about is number one, the trauma. Number two, if there's any other diseases that are going on with uh, the individual. Do you have any other medical problems, mom, dad? Um, remember last year also. So, mom says we had the same problem about a year ago. And how long did it last a year ago? It's usually during basketball season, which is around this time, for a couple of months. So we have... That's uh, when he feels it. All right. How old are you now? 13. 13 year old male. Heel pain usually on the left side? No. Doesn't really affect the right? No. Uh, usually worse with basketball or uh, exertion. Uh, it's now been going on for a couple months, and not just after the activity, but also during the activity, right? No. Is it waking you up at night? No. Do uh, you ever have it when you're not exercising? No. Levels of uh, overuse will be usually after the pain, and then the second stage is after the pain and, and during the pain, and then it's after the pain, during the pain, and before the pain, and then it's with rest. So we're only in getting into the second stage, so that's kind of cool. Um, and, and he says he had it before. We treated him for heel pain before, Severs disease. Uh, last set of x-rays? That's about when? So we did x-rays about a year ago, and we did therapy after the first episode. And who is this over here? Who is this over here? Do you, excuse me, a patient, do you have, are, you, are you in this clinic right now? I have to edit that out. Okay, now you stay there. Uh, you want to be the nurse? The treatment will usually be about the same, but there's been a change. And the biggest change for you is what? I mean, number one, you're getting older. Yeah. So what happens when you get older? Your joints grow. Yeah, exactly. How long? How much have you grown since last year? A couple inches. So when we grow in height, we also grow in bone length. And this, this is the, this is the calcaneus down here. It goes from the tip of the heel to about right here. There are uh, bones of the uh, ankle and the foot called tarsals. These are called metatarsals, and they have. Uh, right, good job. The nurse over there is really smart. I learned in school. Learned in school? Cool. So the thing with the heel and the growth of bone is that as bones lengthen, they have to have a cap on them. Let me use this. If this is a long bone like this, or actually in the case of the heel, this is one of the long bones of the heel. So I'll take it here. Usually for this thing to grow, you have to have a cap on it. That's a um, growth plate. The growth plate moves up, the bone lengthens. Growth plate moves up, bone lengthens until you have size 13 shoes like your dad. So the uh, objective is if the cap is too loose on the shaft of the bone, then sometimes it'll slip off. Or sometimes you get a lot of swelling between and it's all blood and it hurts. The, the problem with your heels is that um, it'll pull this thing here is the Achilles tendon. And the Achilles tendon, especially if you're really tight, will want to pull this piece, this growth plate, up and off. So it constantly irritates. Does it hurt to do anything in particular as far as when you're in basketball? Just running. And what do you usually do to make it feel better? Um, I run slower. No, right, right, because you're not trying to irritate this. You guys exercise or stretch out a lot before? Did the physical therapist do stretching exercises or give you a stretching exercise routine? No. No? No? So the physical therapist usually will, when I send somebody to rehab, they'll graduate a patient and give a home exercise routine. Are you pretty sure they didn't tell you? They, you're Actually, to... you didn't graduate. Oh, aha! Poor <laughs> compliance. Ah, nah. So, they didn't graduate. 
That's okay. Uh, how many visits did, he, did you guys have to physical therapy? Like three or four. Yeah. Come over here, kid. Three or four. That might be one of the problems is sometimes as the physical therapist works on stretching the tendon that's pulling the heel or the growth plate, that's the first part is stretching. The second part is to also decrease inflammation with uh, modalities, ultrasound, electrostimulation, um, sometimes just massage. Then the third, after the, the pain is all quieted down, is my, the physical therapist I use usually will graduate you to watch you when you're running, watch you when you're performing in your shoes, uh, because that's when we figure out if there's a dynamic problem with movement, jumping, a static, and they can see you when you're static and you're in the office, but they want to see you in action. Then they'll try to correct a couple things with your back if it's too tight, or your knees if they are not strong enough. That'll also put extra um, strain on that thing. So it might be the reason why we had to come back fast, is maybe we have to get back into physical therapy. So if there isn't any new trauma, then no need for new x-rays. If there's growth in the individual, then technically that could be a trauma as well, but uh, after my evaluation, we should be okay. Let me see, so hold on a second there, nurse. Yeah, he has actually been growing um, quite a bit in the last month or two. So it could be that it was just, it was quiet, but his length of growth has actually caused it to become tighter. This will usually become tighter when my uh, patients grow fast, and that'll put excessive tension on that growth plate again. So you have to keep up with the stretching program to match the growth speed. So you have to invest in doing exercises, uh, not really exercises, but stretching before, after, and especially before basketball season. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's okay to use anti-inflammatories for your age, twice a day. Mulching. Yeah, Motrin, um, one to 200 milligrams. It's over the counter, so we can do it once, twice a day on a regular basis until the pain is quieted down. Sometimes we can do herbals. Uh, turmeric is okay, just have to watch his gut. Uh, but since we're in deep in the season and we can't stop, and are we mid-season now for you guys? Yes. Yeah. So it's pro and then finals are coming up, so I, I think not only can we not stop, but it's gonna be more intense. <coughs> Yeah. So you really have to invest in the stretching routine, okay? The thing that's good is that when we stop, the pain stops. Yeah, okay. Stop playing, the pain stops. Stop exerting, the pain stops. So it can't be that inflamed yet, but yeah. oh, you're walking a fine Stripping. line because if it gets to the point where he's inflamed, even with stopping, it doesn't uh, relieve. Then we gotta buy more investigation, either an MRI, which is what, 2,000, 3,000 bucks, or a surgeon and second opinion with a foot surgeon, but I think we're still okay at this point. So the only thing I would say, I'd say it is Severs disease again. No need for another repeat x-ray yet, but hopefully an anti-inflammatory, uh, the stretching routine will turn off the pain. If it does not, then I have to hear about it after about two weeks. How do we get the, uh, the routine for stretching? Sometimes you can actually call the physical therapist that you went to before and oh. say, can you send me? Hopefully she'll have her notes and she'll know where she stopped. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but she can send you, uh, hopefully by fax, the exercises that she'll develop for you. Oh, okay. So give a call. It, it might be enough. If she didn't evaluate you enough, then you might have to get in there for uh, seeing how tight things are now because the height has changed and there might be a difference in... Um, the type of exercises she suggests. If it gets to the point where we have um, pain and it doesn't stop, or pain that wakes him up, then we need to work up. No, it, it's, it hasn't come to that yet. Okay. Um, when it first started, his first practice, or yeah, it was his first Basketball practice. Basketball season, yeah. Then um, it lasted for a couple of days, the pain. Okay, that's expected. Yeah. I think we just have to invest in preseason next year, especially with his growth again next year. I uh, have to always invest in a stretching routine. Shoe wear is really important. It can actually cause more pain. If it doesn't fit right, if it's not the right shoe for the, 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 for the surface that he's in, then it won't be a mixed match and it'll cause, uh, what's it called, a shearing. It'll shear off too yeah. much tension in the back and it'll cause the uh, growth plate to irritate again. So we do have to invest in proper shoes and probably have to get one every year and right about a month before season so we can break them in. You got like heavy hot spots. That's yeah, a, that's we a don't big break them in. Uh, they, yeah, that's a problem. Like my marathoners, you can't get a new pair of shoes right before the marathon. You have to really work them in. Yeah. Sometimes you can't have orthotics made. 
Sometimes you can just put a viscous heel cup. There's heel cups. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got that already? The inserts or the heel cups or the orthotics that are made are usually going to be the ones that last longer. The ones that you buy over the counter, even though they seem like they're still spongy, uh, they break down, especially when he's coming down from a layup yeah. or he's trying to take off on a sprint. sprint yeah. um, the, even though they seem like they're spongy, you have to replace them. Uh, for runners, it's every couple uh, hundred miles. Basketball's a little different. I just uh, uh, base it on how many games he plays or how much he's practicing. But it, it never hurts to invest in a new set, yeah. especially with his growth uh, uh, going so fast. Yeah. Make sense? Yep. Any questions? Nope. Yep. All right, this is James and what's your name? Isabella. Uh, Isabella. Yeah. Isabella signing off. Nurse Isabella and James uh, signing off. Uh, put some comments down below if you have anything uh, to add, and maybe we can. He calls me the nurse, it's not true. See you later. Yeah.